Hey, how you doing? This is Eric. Just thought I'd give you a little overview on one of my favorite programs called 1Password from Algae Bits. Here we're taking a look at it in the App Store. There's little uh, screenshots of the uh, programs and a little bit of details information about it. I think you'd definitely be happy about it. It's a way to have a different password for every website and a nice secure password. I'll go over all this in detail here in a little bit, but for right now I'm just going to give you a little overview of the app. I definitely think you'll appreciate it. This is a little overview inside the uh, iPad uh, App Store. It also works on the uh, iPhone. There's also a Mac and a Windows version. Now, here in a second, I'm going to get ready to go over into a little demo mode. All you got to do is type in DEMO, demo, and it jumps right into the app. And it's uh, pre populated by uh, one password with some information, just basically some uh, miscellaneous um, accounts. And uh, there's several different types. You notice here there's only uh, a few showing because these are the starred ones or favorited. And uh, kind of give you a little information about those. They're just uh, like these are ones you're going to use the most often. There's also a little cabinet, filing cabinet there. You can click on that. And that'll take you into everything. Shows you the different categories. There's a total of 39. It goes all the way down. It has a nice little sorting category, you know, A through Z. And then uh, let you categorize them together. And, uh, and you can also choose which one you want to uh, click on right there by showing the different uh, uh, categories that you can select and just allows you to basically choose you know a secure uh, note, a password, uh, a server information, social security information, basically anything that you would want to keep in a secure file format. This, no one has access to this. It allows you to keep all your passwords for your email accounts, bank accounts, credit cards, databases, logins, pretty much anything you can imagine you can keep here. I keep everything here. I think I have over uh, 200 entries in mine. Definitely I think it's worth it. Now what we're going to do is going to show you a little bit about how to go in and surf the web from this directly because this is another thing that's nice about this. It does allow you to surf the web. It's a secure browser. It automatically populates with your username and passwords as long as you have it in there uh, correctly. And then if you just type, you know, press log on from right there, it'll automatically take you surfing into your account. And you can see here where it actually has the information of what account information is there. And it'll also uh, enter in automatically your uh, credit card information. And it will uh, also uh, enter in your um, ident identification. You know, just everything that you definitely need for your uh, website surfing. This gives you the ability to uh, surf here instead of surfing in Safari, which is basically secure browsing. No one has access to this. They would have to have your username and password, and uh, oh, excuse me, you just have to have your master password, and uh, that would allow them to uh, access your uh, your information there. But other than that, they're not going to have that in Safari. It just does not work like that, and it's a nice way for you to purchase stuff and no one else see what you're doing. Now we're going to go through a little bit of different uh, sites that are available. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what, what secure settings there are. Here's some security information. You know, you can change your master password, and you can uh, take a look at that a little bit. And then uh, here you have um, some information about um, how fast it will auto-lock. One password recommends every two minutes. I like that. And you can also have a quick code, uh, which is a four-digit code, as opposed to master password is an eight-digit code or more. You can conceal your passwords. Here, I'll show you how that works here in a second. Basically, what you're going to be doing is you, if you turn this on, it'll conceal your password. Look right below Evernote, and you can see how that is a uh, password uh, is visible. But as soon as you turn that on, it will uh, be hidden. And even though it's hidden, it doesn't mean you can't get to it. You can reveal the password, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. And I'll show you how to copy and paste it. It works out pretty well. I like it a lot. I like to have mine visible because I can just see it. Because sometimes uh, it's nice to see what, what my password is. Obviously, these type of passwords, you, it doesn't matter whether you can see it or not. You're not going to memorize these passwords. And that's not the intent of this app. This, the intent of this app is to help you just get in and have secure website uh, passwords for every website every website being different you see here 
WordPress can reveal and it shows you the password. Click on another uh, thing and it, there, it's concealed also. And it goes back and automatically concealed. It's definitely something you need to think about. It's very important to do this. This is very good security to help you. Now here's an example of where your password is. You copied it into your buffer and your clipboard has it will keep it for five minutes or whatever you set it to and then it'll automatically erase that information. That way your password is not saved in there. And remember it's just your password anyhow so they're going to have to know what site you saved that for. You might, might be your Evernote password. It might be your iTunes password or your Gmail password or whatever but they won't have access to that. And in here you can have uh, some different stuff where you can actually see you can lock the account and you can actually sync your account. You can sync with iCloud, Dropbox, and through iTunes. I like to sync through Dropbox because it allows me to sync with the desktop also. And it syncs really fast with my iPhone and my iPad and my uh, Drop or my uh, Mac. I think you'll be very happy with it. iCloud works quite well too. Um, there was a little bug with it for a while, but I, they have gotten that fixed. And file sharing works quite well too. I just think that's a little old school when the internet's out there. Here's some news information, just some updates what they give you, and then there's a little bit of help information, actually a user's guide, and then contact us. And then there's a, the advanced tab down there at the bottom. Just nice icons, a demo mode, a little bit of troubleshooting, and then a reset all allows you to basically just start all over from scratch pretty much this is a very good good app i think that you'll like it i think you'll be very happy with it i don't think that you can go wrong with this app whatsoever i recommend that you share it with all your family and friends and i think that everybody can really get some good use from this now i'm going to go over a little bit more about um, some Sur um, some surfing the web stuff show you how that can work I think this is something that's definitely nice you can just like start going to a regular Google website no big deal and uh, here I'm going to show you how you can enter in some information automatically from the different uh, tabs and uh, how s what they can do for you you have to take in mind this is junk data so it's not going to help but yours won't be junk data. Yours will be real good data. And what I mean by that, you know, your credit card information and your username and passwords, they're all going to be, you know, accurate. You know, one thing you about to think about this app is garbage in, garbage out. If the URL is not accurate, it's not going to work. But if you notice here, this website has, uh, you know, your Gmail password right there because Google is the domain for this particular um, uh, file and if you want to purchase something these credit cards can automatically be entered in also and then of course here's your um, data about you who you are and it just basically explains a little bit about your identity we'll fill in all those that, those different fields when it asks for your name and your zip code and your phone number it'll fill in all that stuff for you you don't have to you you don't have to use this but you can it does make it nice and again this is a good way of doing a little bit of secure browsing and um, basically this is just a little overview showing you what the different categories are what's available you know you can choose different fields for or different categories for different reasons like i said i have quite a few of them and i think you'll be very happy and you'll know, using this app this is what it looks like and this is what i recommend for the minimum password i recommend that you use at least 12 characters long i recommend that you use uh, Random, not not pronounceable. I recommend that you use at least two digits and two symbols. Uh, avoid ambiguous. Allow repeats and copy to the clipboard. I think all of those are very important. And if you look at that password, you're not going to remember that. No one else is going to remember it. And the likelihood of it, you know, your site being you know hacked into with with this password are very slim. It's very good, um, strong passwords. If you look at that bar there. You know, what is that, like 7 out of 10 as far as strength? I think you'd be very happy with the capability of that. Almost all the websites I go to, they say that it is a strong password. Well, that pretty much wraps it all up. I think that you'll like it. I think that you'll enjoy this app. Give it a shot, and I definitely think you can't go wrong. Take some time, walk around it, and enjoy